Hi, so let me show you now how the network devices screen works in the management console. So here we are in the screen and this is more of a table-based view uh, of all the, of your network device. And previously we've seen the network view where it's like graphic, but here it's very good if you have really a lot of network devices. First you can filter for enterprise, site, area, line, etc. You, you could also now filter here by PLE um, or instance name or whatever. A lot of filters are available. Um, but basically what these network devices are, and let's go here, it's there are the first step to connect to something and extract data. Um, so you give it an IP address, you give it a port, uh, and will automatically do a regular check in the background and will show you the latency. So we can take a look here how, it, how it's looking. The network device, so you can see it has a name, it has an IP address, it has a port, it has a location here, which is in this case fully inherited from the instance where it's running on. Um, and you can see there is some also some data going through it um, and the latency is two, two minutes. I just showed you how the network devices work and now we have added like an IP address and port, but now let me show you how we can really extract data from it. So we can just simply go here to the protocol converter tab and start adding a new protocol converter. So we can select here a protocol and there are a really lot of them to choose from. So we support all the protocols from Bentos and we've added our own like Siemens S7 or OPC UA. And when you find them, we've even provided some standard ones like HTTP or MQTT with very good examples so that everything will be pre-filled out. And in this case, what happens is we connect via OPC UA uh, with IP address port. You can specify the node IDs. You can also specify the node ID of like a folder and it will automatically sub browse all the folders, subscribe to all of them and will put them as a whole thing into the unified namespace so that when you are in the tech browser, you could also have all the folder structure there, which is very good if you just want to transfer everything from the OPC UA server to the unified namespace. In this case, we wrote it here, it's just i equals to 84, and no username, no password. Um, and then for the processing, yeah, here's, here are some, some help pages if you want to read about it. Here are some uh, processing methods if you want to change it, if you want to make it more dynamic, templating, whatever, you can do it here. Usually, you don't need to change anything because this one will be inherited from the network device and then also from the network, uh, from the UMH instance. Um, so usually you don't need to change anything here and the output is always auto-generated and then you can deploy it here and you will start extracting data and then you can see them in the tech browser. So thank you for watching and if you like this content, feel free to check out all the other stuff that we are doing here. Just check out the description and you will find their links to YouTube, to our blog articles, podcasts and all the other stuff that we have.